Alright guys, even here, and the topic of this video will be Keon Pearson and his amazing transformation in less than 3 months. The difference between these two photos that you can see right here is not only 3 months. The one on the left is from Tampa Pro, which was 7.5 months ago, and the right one is from this New York Pro that happened this past weekend. Anyways, the difference between these two photos is big. That's only 7.5 months, that's not a long time. And what he was able to do is really extraordinary. Pay attention to his overall back. I wouldn't just say specific part of his back, but maybe his traps are showing the biggest transformation. His traps are looking much bigger now. His overall wider, his lats also grew. The same thing goes with his shoulders and arms, especially arms. And his legs, the quad sweep, got so much bigger. His glutes and his hamstrings too, as well as calves. So the difference between these two shots is huge. Anyways, this is him from Arnold Classic 2019, which happened less than 3 months ago. So pay close attention to his arms, to his legs, and basically the overall mass of his body compared to his head and his joints. And take a look how he looks now at the New York Pro. Wow, pretty big difference, right? His legs are much fuller, the sweep on them is much, much bigger, his arms are much bigger, that's his dominant body part, he can grow them easily, as he did. His chest though is his biggest problem, but it also grew a little, and his lats, his wheat taper looks better now, so he gained a lot of muscle for sure. Let's take a look at another shot from Arnold Classic, back double bicep, so look at the gap between his legs, look at the thickness of his lower back and his upper back as well. And now let's compare this to New York version. Wow. Wow, just wow. Um, just his legs, the gap between his legs is much smaller now. The sweep of his legs much bigger. His pack is overall thicker, fuller. He's wider. His arms are bigger. He gained a lot of mass. A lot of it. And it's very obvious. And this is Absent Eyes from Arnold Classic. So pay attention to his legs now. And let's take a look at 2019 New York Pro version. Even though the lighting in this New York Pro was awful, it was horrible, you can still see the noticeable difference between his legs. His legs look much bigger now. As we all know, his chest is his biggest weakness. It has been and it still is today. But let's take a look at the, his chest now compared to this version from Arnold Classic. And also pay attention to the glutes and hamstrings and basically the conditioning of his overall body. He gained a lot of muscle and he actually came more conditioned. Let's take a look at New York Pro version. His arms do look bigger now. His legs look bigger, fuller and more conditioned. His chest is still weak. It's still his weakest body part, but it is improved. Also, pay attention to his left leg, the leg that is behind. Can you see that sweep? That crazy sweep on his hammies. Much improved, much improved from before. And this begs a question. Is he still natural? <laughs> I cannot say that with a serious face, I'm sorry. But I do know that many people actually do believe that he is natural, or was. And I guess it's not completely impossible. There is a slight chance for this to be true. I mean, who the hell knows? Maybe he is one in the billion. But my take on this is, if he really was natural, there would be a bigger fuss about it. Everybody would be talking about it. It's not 70s or the 80s or even the 90s anymore. Staying natural and competing in bodybuilding and actually winning some of the biggest shows in the world. Yeah, it's not open category, but classic physique, it's still a big category. These guys are still very, very big. Maybe back in the day, during the 70s, 80s or even 90s, it was normal to stay natural and you wouldn't have to speak about it. But today, it's not like that, it's not the case anymore. Today, it's normal to be on something, and if you're not on something, if you're really natural, and you are actually competing and winning this kind of shows, you are 1%, my friend, and you should tell the world about it, everybody needs to know this. This is not a small thing. And he's not really forcing it too much, he's competing against the guys who are obviously on something, and they're not denying it. So, that's not very likely to be the case. I believe that he's on stuff. And I think everybody knows that, but let me just explain it to the people who don't believe in that. But this transformation that he was able to make in less than 3 months does beg a question. Is he now on Juice? Maybe he was natural until Arnold Classic. Maybe he is that one freak, one in a billion. 
but I don't think so. Or maybe he just started using more or some things that he weren't using before. So the thing is, nobody can know this stuff, but what we can see right now is the transformation he was able to make is really big. It's really good. So thank you guys for watching. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? Is he natural? Was he natural? Is this transformation natural? Did he start using more stuff that he started using three months ago or something like that? Whatever your take on this is, tell me in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.